outboard onset of Ross origin magmatism and subsequent igneous and metamorphic cooling linked to slab rollback during late stage Gondwana assembly. Welcome to Journal Club. The latest academic research, explained in plain English. Today we're looking at this paper from MDPI's Journal of Geosciences. It's authored by Paulson, et al., from the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh in the United States, and is published open access under a CCBY license. Let's start by translating the title into more accessible language. When you read this title, you can understand it to mean in very simple terms that the paper discusses how the formation of mountains and cooling of rocks in a specific region of the Earth's crust was due to the movement of tectonic plates during the formation of a supercontinent called Gondwana. Let's expand on that a little. The research paper explores how volcanic activity and cooling of rocks in a specific mountain range, the Ross origin, were caused by the movement of tectonic plates during the formation of a supercontinent called Gondwana. As one plate moved under another, a process called slab rollback, it caused magma to rise to the surface and create volcanoes. Later, the same process caused the rocks in the area to cool and become metamorphic. This research is trying to understand the timeline and processes involved in the formation of the Ross origin. Now we understand the title, which is a good start, but before we can break down the full paper, we'll need to catch up on some terminology, jargon, background information and context. Specifically, there are some key concepts you'll need to be familiar with, let's define them now. Ross Orogenic Belt A mountain range in Antarctica that formed during the assembly of the Gondwana supercontinent. Neoproterozoic Early Paleozoic A time period approximately 541 to 542 million years ago to 251 million years ago. Igneous Crystallization the process in which magma cools and solidifies to form igneous rocks. Thermochronological data, information about the cooling, heating, and thermal history of rocks. R slash R dating, a radiometric dating method used to determine the age of rocks and minerals using the decay of the isotope argon-40. Plutonic samples, rocks that solidified from magma deep within the Earth's crust. Metasedimentary samples, sedimentary rocks that have been changed through heat and pressure. Detrital zircon, zircon crystals that have been eroded from their original location and incorporated into sedimentary rocks. Crustal thickness, the distance between the Earth's surface and the top of the crust. Slab rollback, the process in which a subducting tectonic plate sinks back into the mantle, causing continental crust to extend and thin. Now that we understand the title and key concepts, we're ready to dive in and break down this paper. In this presentation we're going to attempt to answer five questions. 1. What were the researchers trying to figure out? Or more specifically, what was their hypothesis? 2. How did they conduct their experiment? That is, how did they test their hypothesis? 3. What were the results of the experiment? 4. What conclusions did the authors draw from those results? And lastly, 5. Why does this research matter? Why should you care? 1. What were the researchers trying to figure out? The hypothesis of the researchers is that the onset of magmatism in outboard localities of the Ross origin is linked to slab rollback and a decrease in crustal thickness during the assembly of East-West Gondwana, coinciding with possible global plate motion changes. 2. How did they conduct their experiment? The researchers used examination of rock samples and geochronology techniques to investigate the timing and origin of magmatism and cooling during the formation of the Ross origin in Antarctica. They analyzed the mineral composition and isotopic ratios of samples from various locations and used radiometric dating to determine ages. They also used numerical modeling to simulate the evolution of the crust during the orogeny. 3. What were the results? The researchers found that the cooling ages are consistent with the detrital zircon UPB maximum depositional age peaks and that they reflect slab rollback during late stage Gondwana assembly. The results also indicated the presence of alteration and reheating in some samples, 
affecting the interpretation of their ages. 4. What conclusions did the authors draw from their results? The researchers' findings are consistent with cooling ages found elsewhere in the Ross origin and demonstrate the widespread onset of tectonothermal activity in the outboard portions of the Ross orogenic belt in the Cambrian. The results support a late Neoproterozoic to Cambrian shortening and thickening event associated with the final stages of Gondwana assembly, followed by a change in plate motions that initiated a short-lived Cambrian extensional and crustal thinning event due to slab rollback. Further work is needed to understand the broader tectonic factors that caused these events. 5. Why does this research matter? The importance of this research lies in its contribution to our understanding of the geological processes that shaped our planet's history and the mechanisms behind supercontinent formation. We hope you've enjoyed this Journal Club presentation of outboard onset of Ross origin magmatism and subsequent igneous and metamorphic cooling linked to slab rollback during late stage Gondwana assembly. If you'd like to read the full paper yourself, which we encourage you to do, you can find it at DOI. 10.3390 slash geosciences 1304126.